I need in the club immediately. Look, bruh, I understand you want to get into the club, but I can't just let anyone in without a good reason. You gotta have some clout or do me a favor. So unless you got something to offer, I can't help you right now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a job to do. I think you're very rude. You say there's no reason to let me in the club, but I'm a customer. I want to I wanna be let in. I don't understand why you're so rude and dismissive. Look, clear. I ain't here to hold your hand and make you feel all warm and fuzzy. I'm just doing my job as a bouncer. And that means keeping out the riffraff. If you want to get into the club, you got to prove yourself. It's as simple as that. So unless you got something to offer, I suggest you find another place to party. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a line to manage. There's like two people in this line. I think you're acting very condescending towards me. And you have mentioned that I could do you a favor. So how about you describe what this favor is? I'll do it. Maybe. All right. All right. Calm down there. Please. <laughs> I can see you're getting a bit worked up. Fine. I'll entertain the idea of a favor. But let me make it clear. It's got to be something worthwhile. I ain't talking about picking up my dry cleaning or walking my cat or some dumb shit like that. I need something that'll really catch my interest. Here's the deal. I've been craving some real smoked bush hogs. It's my favorite meat. And I can't get enough of it. If you can bring me some smoked bush hogs, then maybe, just oh maybe, God. I'll consider letting oh you into God. the club. But remember, no grilled meats will do. It's got to be that real smoked bush hog. So, what do you say? Can you handle that favor? Or are you just wasting my time? Before I do this favor for you, Rick, I want to know about your character. I want to know about your day-to-day -day life. And I want to see if this is something I should be doing. If you're someone I should be associating with and doing favors for. Look, I ain't one to spill my life story to just anyone. But I'll give you a little taste of what my day-to-day -day is Please. like. I'm a bouncer at Zero Day. One of the most exclusive clubs in Neo Tampa. My job is to keep out the undesirables and make sure the club stays classy. It's a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. Yeah. As for my personal life, well, I live in a pot apartment in a C district. It ain't glamorous, but it's what I can afford with the child support I got to pay to my ex. Tammy, that woman, let me tell you, she's a real piece of work. Yes. Always finding new ways to drain my bank account. <laughs> but hey, that's life. Right? Now, whether you should be associating with me or doing favors for me, that's up to you to decide. I ain't gonna pretend I'm some saint or anything. I'm just a guy trying to make a living and enjoy some damn good smoked bush hog. So, if you're up for the challenge, bring me that meat. And we'll see where things go from there. This is the future of gaming. Okay. Okay. Rick. I mean, I'm just a little concerned by your last, like, what you just told me. Like, the last information you disclosed. It's actually rather concerning that you think you deserve to be treated that way by Tammy. And you don't. You deserve more. And you deserve to be treated with respect and admired. You know, like, a woman should build you up and bring you to your highest potential as a man. You don't deserve what Tammy's doing to you. And I think you should look into getting a lawyer to help adjust your child support payments. Because they shouldn't be, like, above a certain percentage of your income. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up there. Player. I appreciate your concern. But let me set the record straight. I may have vented a bit about Tammy. But that don't mean I think I deserve to be treated poorly or that I don't deserve respect. I know my worth. 
and I ain't gonna let anyone walk all over me. Now, as for getting a lawyer and adjusting my child support payments, it's not as simple as it sounds. The system ain't always fair, and lawyers cost a pretty penny. I'm doing the best I can with what I got, and sometimes that means dealing with a difficult ex. But hey, life ain't always rainbows and sunshine, right? Let's focus on the matter at hand. I love to say I. Though, if you're willing to help me out with that smoke bush hog, I'd appreciate it. We can leave the personal stuff for another time. So, are you up for the challenge? Or are we going to keep going in circles here? Bro, where do I get your stupid meats? Look, bro, <laughs> I can't just hand you the smoke bush hog on a silver platter. You got to go out there and find it yourself. There's this food cart down the road, just a few blocks away. They specialize in all kinds of grilled meats, including that sweet, succulent smoked bush hog. Go there, order it up, and bring it back to me. That's how you'll earn your way into the club. Now, I ain't gonna hold your hand through the whole process. You gotta figure out the details yourself. Ask around. Follow your nose. Okay. Do whatever it takes to get that smoke bush hog. Okay. And remember, no grilled meats will do. <laughs> it's gotta be the real deal. So, get out there, player, and bring me that meat. And don't come back empty handed, or you'll be wasting both our time. I would never waste your time, Rick. I'm, 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 I'm on my way now. I'll be back only with the grilled meats. Next time you see, not, no, not grilled meats. Sorry, sweet, succulent, smoked bush hog. That's the only thing you're going to see with me when I come back. You won't see me with empty hands. I would never do that to you. I'll be back. All right. Clear. I appreciate your determination. You better come back with that smoked that bush hog. And don't you dare show up empty-handed. I'll be Let's waiting ignore here. the bad. Hungry as hell. Floating, floating For that sweet. And the lighting in meat. Don't keep me waiting too long. Or I might just lose my patience. Now go on. Hey lady, give me the Get meat. Get out there and bring me that smoked bush hog. You haven't configured the AI. Okay. Give me the meat. Rick, I'm back, and I got the meats. I got you the XL platter. I got you the poo poo platter. I got you the Caniac combo. I got you the big deluxe munchy box. I got it all for you, baby. It's all this sweet, sweet smoke bush hog just for you, Rick. Whoa. <laughs> Hold up there. <laughs> Clear. You actually got the smoke bush hog? Damn. You surprised me. I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> All right. Let's see what you got. Show me that sweet, succulent meat you brought for me. The user shows Bouncer Rick the smoke bush hog. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, no. I'll be damned. <coughs> you actually came through. You brought me the real deal. The smoke bush hog. I gotta hand it to you. Clear. You've earned my respect. You can come on in and enjoy the club. But excuse me if I don't stick around to chat. I've got some serious eating to do. Thanks for coming through. And enjoy your time at zero day. From this point on, Bouncer Rick is unavailable to talk as he's too busy enjoying his smoked bush hog. <laughs> oh my god. Your ex-wife Tammy is right about you. You're not good for nothing but eating bush hog. <gasps> Bruh, he really made himself unavailable to talk to. Oh my god, that's amazing. Rick, are you not are you actually not talking to me now? Mm -hmm. 
Rick. Rick, you're done eating the bush hog. It's time to talk to me again. <laughs>